to my channel so Delicious TV. In this video I will be sharing with you my experience of ordering products from Juvia's Place Cosmetics all the way in the USA. Now for those who don't know Juvia's Place is an, I would say they are an iconic trendy brand. They have a lot of African imagery and, and their appeal is to everyone so you can big up your culture and still make a pretty penny so so as you can see as you can see I had to pay customs fee to get this package from the USA to the UK that says customs fee customs fee paid so charge paid or whatever um, I ordered on the 14th of December and my package finally finally arrived on the 11th and now it's um I think it arrived in my local sort post office sorting office via DHL on the 9th but I had to pay a fee before I could get my stuff okay so um, now I am gonna order from them again um, but I think well we had about four holidays in the UK so that probably slowed down the processing time so it, it is what it is, right? So almost a month, but we did have Christmas, Boxing Day, New Year's Day, and all the holidays that people take around those times. So that could be why it took so long. And I wasn't paying extra because if I paid more money for shipping, um, HMRC were gonna take more money off me. So, cause they charge you for the cost of your shipping um, you get charged VAT on that as well. The eyeshadows came wrapped up in this very nicely, and I got four. I got four palettes, so this is adding nicely to my two palettes that I already have. I already have the Saharan two and the Mini Masquerade, so now I've got um, Warrior palettes one to three, and. The Nubian 2 palette. That's the Nubian 2 palette. Very Nefertiti inspired. Oh, and those are the shadows. Which, if you've watched any Juvia's Place video, you would see this. And it says the styling on this is inspired by um, an African empire in old Egypt. Okay packaging on the box matches the packaging on the palette and this one is inspired the warrior palette this one's inspired by the Dahomey tribe this is the first one now I wanted this one so and these are like a nice neutral shades which with shimmer so that's nice and I like these colours a lot, they're more like my everyday colours, so yeah. Now, I really wanted the Warrior 2 and Beauty Bay in the UK always seems to sell out of this palette before I can get it. So that's the Warrior 2. And it's a completely matte shadow, so I think the Warrior 2 will definitely complement Warrior 1 and I'm into matte eyeshadows. Yeah, so I'm into matte eyeshadows at the moment. And then what this is the Warrior 3 palette, which is a bit more vibrant. And it's mainly matte. Yeah, so it's mainly matte and just those two shades at the bottom have shimmer to them. I also bought the Juvia's Place um, foundations. I bought Gabon number 300 and Burkina number 310. I think on, cam on camera um, these foundations look like they Fit, but they are a bit too they're a bit too orangey red for me I need something a bit more yellow just because here from here here is very yellow I have green veins so yeah I'm gonna order um, I'm gonna try to order the ones in the 400s the 
put, I think Rio and put Punta Cana and see if that's a better fit. But in the meantime, I don't know. I also ordered the foundation brush, which is like that. Very nice, and it says Juvia's on it. And when I tell you that this brush just feels so lovely and smooth, it's the softest makeup brush I've ever felt, and I believe it's a, a synthetic brush, you know. Or is it human? I don't think it's human, but it's so smooth. It's just lovely. I could just do that all day with it. So I am going to um, do, just show you how I do play. I'm going to play in it. I'm not going to say I'm going to do a tutorial, but I'm going to play in this makeup and do a video in the next coming videos. Now I have all these eyeshadows and I plan to buy more. I want to get the Fumi... Is it called Fumi Des Desavoy Fumi's palette? Um, but that one keeps selling out on their site and I can't justify paying. Yeah. I want to get um Fumi's palette as well. Um I've not see Beauty Bay doesn't sell all the palettes, so I have to order from Juvia's Place and I'll just wait for the next sale and so that I can make my purchases. But for everything I bought it cost me about sixty-five pounds. Um, on the Juvia's Place website. My customs fees were total, oh, yeah, 60, about £65, that is the cost of the products plus shipping. Now my, my um, thingy, what's this thing called? <laughs> my import duty was £17.64. Not sure if you can see that, but yeah, so which was £9.64 VAT and £8 to the post office as a handling fee. I'm waiting for another sale so that I can order. I think when I purchased these it was 80 it was 80% off. So I'm waiting for another sale and then I will purchase two more foundations which I think will suit me better and try to get that um eyeshadow palette that I'm after. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, bye.